I'm just excited for this clinic today. We're going to be bringing in anywhere from 40 to 75 kids to be able to experience this sport and have the opportunity that they, they never had before just by um, opening the doors of communication and reaching out to certain key figures in the community. This is a partnership between the Greater Columbus Sports Commission, the Ohio Machines, um, Ohio State University, our chapter, and a couple other players here that have all come together to bring lacrosse uh, into a rec playing league within the next year. Listen, I'm uh, Coach Davis. I coach the Ohio Machine. We have, um, you know, officials, coaches, educators, um, college players, so it, it's uh, across the board. Having kids, like, realize that there are other sports out there, um, you know, just realizing that, you know, you don't have to play all the common sports all the time, giving them a different outlet. You know, maybe some kids don't, you know, like other sports that people are playing, like football and basketball, and they want to try something different. So this is just kind of be another outlet that kids can, you know, rely on or go to. Being with Recreation and Parks, trying to expose the kids of our community to new programs. So I reached out to the Ohio Machine about possibility of uh, bringing lacrosse as a clinic to City of Columbus, to Recreation and Parks Department. Bring this all together to be able to expose children to a new program and give them opportunities they, they don't always see every day. It's going into uh, the inner city, urban areas, and providing them with saw, saw sticks, education, resources, and helping them understand uh, kind of the mechanics and, and some of just the fundamentals of the game and encouraging them to uh, pick up a stick and uh, start playing. To be able to expose the sport to uh, you know, demographics that uh, traditionally aren't exposed to the sport. Uh, our rural areas are, are limited access and same with the urban areas. They're trying to break down that, that uh, barrier of cost of equipment by providing equipment and uh, you know it's real important to, to us, the Ohio machine, because you know it's a, such an incredible sport going into a, a sport like lacrosse that maybe doesn't have as much uh, interest as other sports they have more opportunities to uh, rise in the level of the sport program to be able to go from middle school to high school to college even to pro and be able to have their education maybe partially paid for with scholarships and it worked out with me being able to play at Ohio State um, and then towards the end of my career at college you know, just wanted to give it a shot, trying to play pro lacrosse, and so far it's worked out pretty well. If you're interested in, in getting more involved with U.S. Lacrosse or becoming a member, you can go to uslacrosse.com uh, and search by chapters, and uh, it'll put you in touch with myself and uh, any, anyone else in the lacrosse community. Lots, lots of contact there. And going online, the internet has so much lacrosse information now than you know 10, 15 years ago that you can easily like find things that you can almost train yourself with online. You know, a lot of pro guys are posting things online and on YouTube and on Instagram and you know even Snapchat and stuff like that. That's easily accessible. So definitely using um, those resources will help you be a better lacrosse player. And this is just the first of many clinics that we're going to be doing to help support this initiative. Yeah.